चक्षुरुन्मीलिता तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित भूतले स्वयं रूप पदाम ददाती स्वपदाचिक वंदेह श्री गुरु श्रीयुक्त पदकमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवा श्री रूप सागर जाता सहगना रघुनाथा विथम धंस जीव साधवैत सवदूत परिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदा सहगना ललिता श्री विशाखांत हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते सप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछा कल्पतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो नमो विष्णु पाद कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणी जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वास्तादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रसादम ऑफ लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ सो दैट डे आई हैड टोल्ड यू व्हाट इज प्रसाद can anyone tell me what is prasad do you all remember the first session i had told you what does prasad mean you all can put it in the chat box what do you mean by prasad offer food to the lord what is the meaning of prasad prasad i had given you one word what does prasad mean moksha is saying offer food to the lord yes the food offered to the lord is called prasad who is dulari you have raised your hand yes you can you want to speak yeah karthik says prasad is mercy yes dulari you want to speak wait i'll unmute you one second okay yes tell me what is prasad i can't hear you you are on mute please unmute yourself Please. Yeah, tell me. Again, you have un- muted yourself. Okay, you can put in the chat box also. Achintya, would you like to say what do you mean by prasad? Chali nida chat four. Yes. What? Offering up to the Lord. Mercy. Yes, Dulari, I can hear you. Yes, tell me. Matiji, the food which is offered to Krishna, remembrance of Krishna. Remembrance of Krishna, the food which is offered to Krishna, correct. And Achintya, what you, what would you like to say? Ah, uh, the mercy of Lord. Perfect. So Prasad means the. Mercy of the Lord. Everybody is right. The food offered to the Lord, the remnants of the Lord. But in one word, if you want to say what is prasad, prasadam literally means mercy. Okay. So in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna has uh, said in the in verse nine point twenty seven, chapter nine, verse number twenty seven. Krishna says, "Yat karoshi, yat asnashi, yat juhosi, dadati yat." यस 
whatever austerities you perform do that o son of kunti as an offering to me so here krishna is speaking about how important the uh, element of offering everything to him is so we should in short we should offer everything to krishna that is what krishna is telling us so before we consume anything we offer it to the lord you know why because when anything is offered to the lord it becomes prasad and that prasad has great potency it has great power see the lord is atmana he is fully satisfied he doesn't need anything he doesn't need anything for himself every because you know what everything belongs to him only no so let me give you an example suppose uh, if your father gives you some money and uh, from that money uh, suppose you buy some say some say chocolate for your father so your father will be so so happy right now tell me one thing does your father require that chocolate no na he doesn't require that chocolate because he can buy for himself as many chocolates as he wants but if you buy for him from the money that he has given to you if you buy a gift for him a chocolate for him he will be so 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 happy so similarly krishna he supplies us with food through nature right but when we give our thanks to him when we express our gratitude towards him by offering back in the mood of loving devotion then what happens he accepts it he is very very happy and he accepts this uh, this out of his causeless mercy because he is very merciful and all his mercy he puts in that prasad to his plan and he is so happy so happy that he will he wants to array this my devotee he is offering this with, with, with me with so much love so much devotion so he is so so happy and he gives all the things to me so the lord is not hungry for our food he is hungry for the love and devotion of for, for, for he is hungry for our love and devotion so and when we offer him something with love and devotion he reciprocates that with love so lord jagannath uh, he is the lord of the universe and because he is the lord of universe he reciprocates with the entire world in different different ways so suppose uh, when jagannath wants to when the lord wants to sleep so what does he do he goes to shrirangam and he becomes ranganath and he sleeps nicely and when he wants to do business what does he do he goes to tirupati and he becomes balaji and when he wants to bless his devotees where does he go he goes to kanchipuram and he becomes varadraj and when he wants to eat where does he go he goes to jagannath puri and becomes jagannath and suppose he wants to fight so where does he go he goes to kurukshetra and he becomes parthasar so all these holy places of the lord they are the different pastime places of the lord but specifically the pastime of the lord eating food is jagannath puri therefore it is considered that in jagannath puri anything that is offered to the lord in fact if you don't offer us in fact anything which is consumed in the whole of jagannath puri is considered to be prasad but uh, specifically the prasad that is offered in the temple of lord jagannath it is considered to be very 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 auspicious and very 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 powerful and uh, you know what it has the capacity to fulfill all our desires so all of us in our own little home it will be very good it will be very wonderful if we offer food to krishna and then we eat so eat prasad uh, because this prasad is very very purifying very very uplifting so whatever vegetarian food we cook you know without onion garlic uh, it should be cooked with lot of love and devotion and affection we should offer it to krishna and that food has the power to transform to transform us like no and no other thing has such power so the lord also describes uh, what he accepts as an offering he has told that what he wants as an offering he has uh, this he has mentioned in bhagavad gita again chapter number 9 verse number 23 where he said patram pushpam phalam toya so if one offers me with love and devotion a leaf a flower of fruit or water i will accept it but it 
should be with love and devotion so we can see that the lord does not need anything you know complicated kuch taam jham nahi chahiye simple patram pushpam phalam soyam but uh, so he doesn't want much he doesn't he doesn't expect anything much only little some fruit grain vegetarian food that only expect so the lord does not accept, accept food like you know uh, like made of onion garlic and meat fish eggs he does not want that but only those food which are pure and which are naturally available without harming others so we should offer krishna what krishna like we should not offer him what he doesn't like so we all know that the lord is offered 56 bhog 56 offering uh but why is he offered 56 offering 56 is kyun dete bhagwan ko 56 bhog kyun lagaya jata hai we want to know about this why is the lord offered 56 bhogas 56 bhogas you all want to know about this yes or no all right so i'm going to tell you the reason why 56 dishes are offered to the lord so we all know the famous uh, govardhan leela pastime right so uh, krishna he had held the entire govardhan mountain on his little finger on the tip of his uh, little finger uh, to give the shelter to to give shelter to all vajrajwati because of the incessant rains and flood which was sent by indra so for seven days and seven nights krishna he held the huge govardhan parvat to protect the vajrajwati and in those seven days and seven nights he did not eat anything and and uh, mother yashoda would feed krishna every day eight meals a day but because krishna was very busy protecting all the vajrajwasis he did, he could not eat anything so finally lord indra he understood ki baba galat galat uh, uh, galat lok se panga le liya maine so he relented and he surrendered his ego at krishna's feet and uh, then everything it became normal and but uh, the vrajwasis they were very grateful and they were very loving so and they and they loved their kanaiya like anything so they thought that our kana he has not eaten only anything since seven days and today is the eighth day so he must be so hungry he must be so tired and every day he eats eat eight meals so he has made, he has missed the 56 meal all these days seven eight the 56 so uh, and why did he miss all this meal just to protect us so out of sheer love out of devotion for krishna they offered to feed him 56 dishes and since because he had missed all the eight meals per day right so seven and the 56 that i told you so since that day uh, it has become an uh, this uh, a practice to offer chappan bhog to the lord so from here it comes you know why krishna is offered 56 dishes so now i am going to share with you all a very interesting history of how lord jagannath came up with this strategy of mahaprasad so let us go to the next slide so this is the story of jagannath mahaprasad so one time uh, narad muni he went to vaikuntha and you know narad muni he is a celestial rishi uh, he always sings the glories of the lord and Uh, on, on his veena he always carries his veena with him right so then he uh, he started uh, so, so he went to vaikunth and he started serving mother lakshmi he bowed down to her he offered his obeisances he chanted prayers and all the time he was doing this only and so, so he served mother lakshmi very very attentively and then mother lakshmi she was very very pleased and she requested narad muni to ask for some boon so narad muni replied uh you have told me to ask for a boon fine i'll ask but you must promise uh that uh, whatever i ask for you will grant so lakshmi devi said fine okay i'll give you whatever you want so he then uh, narad muni said that uh, uh lakshmi uh, he asked lakshmi devi to give uh, mahaprasad mahaprasad means remnant from the plate of lord narayan so and suddenly lakshmi devi would only change and her face became pale and she was now very worried so and she said that i can't do this please ask me for something else uh, she said because just a few days ago uh, the lord has instructed me not to give his prasad to anyone so please understand my problem please understand my situation i cannot disobey my 
my husband's order so i cannot give you prasad so you tell me anything else what is second on your list i'll give you that so narad ji said that um, i don't want anything else he was very adamant and he said that baba you to promise me so now you have to give me i don't want anything else and after all you are the dear wife of lord narayan no so you must grant me this boon somehow or the other you must give me the lord prasad because that is all i want so now lakshmi devi was now in great trouble boon de boon mangne ko bol diya promise bhi kar diya ki i'll give you the boon and now she is not able to do now what to do then uh, she she went to she told narad muni uh, to wait and she will see if she can do something to satisfy his desire so uh, the next day uh, she was serving the lord lord narayan she was dressing his feet and then even though she was performing her duties no with great attention she was an expert in performing her duties then lord narayan could figure out that today his wife is very very unhappy her face had become pale and she was looking very sad very morose so uh, the lord noticed but he did not say anything then she started fanning him fanning him again her customary smile the pleasantness on her face it was missing so then the lord still remained quiet and then she started serving him prasad and the lord started eating ke baba abhi to thinking that now to at least it is see something now to at least it is smile so then nothing no expression same she was sad so now uh, so the lord asked all right now tell me what is going on i am not enjoying this this mood of yours what is ha- what has happened to you so she says that no no i was fine you know uh, with promising you that i will not share anything from your plate with anyone but narad he is begging for it now what to do so and i have already given him the boon i have already promised him also so she uh, so she shares the problem she uh, uh, and her desire to share the remnants with narad muni so then lord nara and what he does is he comforted lakshmi ji and he said fine just for today i will cancel this restriction you may take my plate of remnants and give it to narad muni but on one condition you must deliver the prasad in such a way uh, that i do not see and actually when i turn my face away to some other side you may take the plate away as if i do not see so the goddess parvati she uh, so the goddess lakshmi she agreed she became very happy so following her beloved husband's instruction she took the help of garud ji and she removed the his plate of remnants when he was not looking so now uh, how did she take the help of garud ji so you know what she did when the lord was eating garud ji called so when garud ji called uh, what happens the lord looks in his direction and then lakshmi ji lakshmi ji immediately she took the mahaprasad plate and she happily presented it to narad muni so uh, narad muni he had the mahaprasad and he started dancing in ecstasy and he ate the whole plate ha huh? and so after eating that whole plate like he became so ecstatic he started jumping he started dancing his hair stood on end and practically he was intoxicated with this mahaprasad so so he could not control himself only and so uh, with his veena he started running all over the universe like a madman uh, chanting and dancing without stopping he ran from one planet to another and finally he reached mount kailash uh, mount kailash is the abode of lord shiva and lord shiva was surprised to see narad muni you know chanting and dancing in such ecstasy and he was literally like you know mad he was literally like a madman so so uh, so uh, lord shiva he pacified narad muni he said i know i know that you are always in ecstasy because you constantly chant the name of the lord but i have never seen you in such a condition what has happened to you what is wrong with you so narad muni he like he cooled down and he explained everything he said i had gone to vaikuntha and i got so much pleasure and ecstasy after honoring the remnants of lord vishnu lord vishnu mahaprasad i had and i am feeling so ecstatic and that i'm not like i i can't stop only dancing and chanting so lord shiva he said oh you are so fortunate you have tasted the mahaprasad of narayan but have you brought any prasad for me so now narad muni felt very sorry because 
he had not brought only anything no he he only ate the whole plate so he did not bring anything for lord shiva so he said that no baba i have to not brought anything so so he folded his hand and he said that sorry please forgive me i just forgot and i did not bring anything for you so when he folded his hands no what is what he uh, he noticed that a morsel of prasad had stuck on his finger nail so narad muni said yes yes here is some prasad prasad kanik matra means a morsel of prasad is there for you so narad muni he carefully he held up his hand for lord shiva's inspection lord shiva saw yeah yeah there is some prasad on your finger nail and you know what 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 narad muni did so narad muni he put his finger into lord shiva's mouth and as soon as that small morsel of maha prasad touched the tongue of mahadev you know what happened he also felt great ecstasy and happiness so much so that he could not remain quiet and he started he also started chanting and dancing and then slowly slowly his dancing became so vigorous so vigorous that it manifested the tandava dance you know what is tandava dance tandava dance is the dance which is performed at the time of annihilation so the whole universe started shaking started trembling and everyone was frightened all the demigods and all they were thinking what happened why is this dance taking place now it is so untimely no so it has to be performed during the time of annihilation but no one had the courage to stop lord shiva so they were all the devtas they went to mother lakshmi and they begged mother lakshmi to please specify her husband so otherwise what will happen the whole universe will be destroyed so mother lakshmi sorry mother parvati so mother parvati she arrived and she saw lord shiva he was dancing and uh, mother parvati he, she approached lord shiva and when he came he then he came to his senses and she asked what happened to you why are you dancing like this in ecstasy so he explained about the mahaprasad that he had received from narad muni and she became she said that have you kept any mahaprasad for me now lord shiva he said abhi mere ko hi to itna sa mila ek morsel to mila kahan se rakhunga main so he said no i don't have any mahaprasad so then parvati devi she became very angry and she became so furious that the fire of her anger started to burn the whole universe so everybody was burning from the lower planet to the higher planet everybody could feel her burning heat so the sages and the saints they understood that kuch to gadbad hai everything is going to finish by this anger of mother parvati so finally what happened is all the demigods they came to lord brahma and uh, 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 headed by brahma they rushed to vaikun to inform lord vishnu so yeah, lord vishnu he heard the situation he came to kailash on his garud and when mother parvati she saw narayan she offered her obeisances and uh, uh, she is told uh, and lord narayan told her that and she told her mother parvati that i am very unhappy because i did not get your mahaprasad so uh, narayan said lord narayan said i will give you as much mahaprasad as you want but please you be pacified and you give up your anger otherwise all your children will be finished so mother parvati said no 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 i will not be satisfied if you give me your mahaprasad i request you to give your mahaprasad to all my children to all the living entities i do not want to see any of my children suffer like i am suffering now due to being deprived of your mahaprasad so you must arrange something so that all living beings including the dog also they can honor your mahaprasad so lord narayan he smiled and he said tatha let it be so so he said that i will fulfill your desire i will appear in nilachal dham my temple will be famous for distributing my prasad whoever takes my prasad they will be liberated so all my prasad it will be first offered to you then only will the remnants become maha prasad and this maha prasad will be distributed to everyone without distribution without consideration so i will give you uh, a place next to me you will have your temple just behind mine in the inner courtyard so and lord shiva because he neglected you know he did not give you mahaprasad no? so he has to stay at a distance and he he will have have his temple outside the courtyard so and the lord he uh, appeared in puri as jagannath and parvati devi is there in the name of bimla devi and all jagannath prasad is first offered to bimla devi 
and then only it is distributed as mahaprasad to everyone else so in puri there is no distinction between high caste low caste for taking jagannath prasad it is meant for anyone and everyone jagannath prasad is so pure so pure that the shastras they say that a brahmana can take mahaprasad from the mouth of a dog also it can never never get contaminated so this is the power of lord jagannath mahaprasad so it is because of this story that this system of mahaprasad started in jagannath puri so bolo jagannath mahaprasad ki jai so did you all like this story yes no thumbs up thumbs down dulari saying yes she like the story okay would you like to hear some more stories yes fine we'll go to our next story so the next story is also a very interesting story so so we all know that our dear jagannath he enjoys delicious 56 bhogas every day right we all know that but do you know after having such heavy food he has to consume bitter medicine also you know why who gives him this medicine uh, this bitter medicine so i'm going to tell you about the secret and i'm going to tell you about one more great devotee of lord whose name is landi mata so in jagannath puri there was uh, once an old lady her uh, name was landi mata and she was a very very great devotee of lord jagannath and she had developed a special bhav for lord jagannath and because of this she considered jagannath as a son and you all know mothers love for a child it is limitless right you must have also experienced your mothers they love you all love you all so much so much right mother loves every child immensely so and she goes to any limits to protect her child so every day landi mata she would bring some neem leaf paste neem leaf paste for the lord it is bitter ah by the way so and you know why she used to do this because she thought my son he eats 56 varieties of food stuff every day so many sweets so much ghee so much fried items just imagine what will be the condition of his stomach he, he must be experiencing so much indigestion acidity he will be in so much pain and how can i see him in pain how can i see him suffer so it will be nice for him if we eat a little neem leaf paste so in this mood every day nandi mata she visited the temple of lord she would go to the temple of lord jagannath to feed uh, him neem leaf paste so uh, so that the lord so that the lord whatever food he consumes uh, that gets digested nicely and it is also good for his health so usually what happens is the devotees of lord jagannath they bring very nice sweet bhoga for the lord and here landi mata uh, she brought bitter neem paste for the lord so what do you think did lord jagannath accept this neem leaf paste what do you all think will he accept it or will he not accept it tell me yes or no okay fine so we will find out whether lord jagannath accepts it or no so one day uh, she reached the entrance of the gate uh, holding her pot which consists with her neem paste neem leaf paste but before she could enter the security guard he stopped her and, say, and said where are you going and what are you carrying in this pot so landi mata said that i am carrying some neem paste for my son every day he eats so much variety of food no so due to this he he is experience he experiences indigestion and all so and there is other stomach problems so the security guard was wondering ki ye kya bol rahi hai how can her son be inside the temple so he asked is your son inside the temple so landi mata replied yes yes my son is sitting now there on the ratna simhasan with big 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 eyes and he is waiting to eat this neem paste so please allow me to go inside so now the security guard when he heard this he became very very angry he said what are you saying jagannath he is your son are he is the lord of the universe how can he be your son and lord jagannath is offered so many nice varieties of food stuff he is not satisfied with that or what is he only waiting for your neem leaf paste don't talk rubbish just go from here so in some time the 
king the king is going to come in sometime so we have to make arrangements for him so we don't have time just go from here so the security man he did not allow lanji mata to enter the temple so she was very broken hearted and you know uh, she she became very sad and she returned to her hut so uh, and and she was very sad that she could not she was not able to uh, feed neem leaf to her son and like she was crying and crying and crying and then she thought oh my son must be waiting for me uh, for this neem leaf space and today so i could not go only i could not give him only his stomach must be so 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 upset whom we will tell now so i am so unlucky that i could not attend to my son so and you know what our jagannath he so knows everything right so he understood the mood of landi devi landi mata and so see so so seeing landi mata very sad how could our jagannath be happy he is not happy when his devotees are sad he also becomes sad no so he to run at the call of his devotees and landi mata was so his maya no then how can he see his mother sad she to get so much for his help so what happened is in the night uh, jagannath he left his temple palace and he went to the house of landi mata when he went uh, to lati mata's house an effulgent light suddenly appeared in lati mata's house and she was surprised she, when she saw her beloved son jagannath just standing before her so now his face jagannath's face was very dry very pale and he said very sweetly said maya why didn't you get this nimli face the nimli face for me today you know what today i had so many sweets and i thought that i will have your neemli face and everything will be digested but today to you did not come only and now look look at my stomach it has become so big and it is paining also today you forgot me or what maya so hearing this landi mata uh, she got up and she had tears in her eyes and but before she could speak anything lord jagannath he disappeared so then and during that same night he lord jagannath he went to the king's palace and he appeared to the king of puri in a dream usko bhi there also he appeared in a dream and he said any folded literally folded him and what you know what is that like uh, here you are sleeping so peacefully and there my maya is crying landi mata she loves me as a son and she is my maya and every day she has been bringing this neem leaf space for me and she offers me it uh, with so much love and affection and what did a security guard do today he stopped her and for and he knocked the paste from her hand just gira diya pura paste kitna pyar se bana ke leke aayi you know what i love to eat this neem paste prepared by her so you should go early morning and tell her to bring this neem leaf paste for me and feed me so and before the king could say anything again our jagannath disappeared so early next morning the king along with his ministers and uh, he went to nandi mata kutir and uh, and uh, she was surprised uh, to see uh, the king and his ministers uh, so the king told uh, told nandi uh, mata that uh, the temple security has committed a great offense to you so please 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 forgive me for that and you know what even lord jagannath he wants to eat your neem leaf paste so you are such a great devotee of lord jagannath and you are very very fortunate uh, and so from today your kutir will be known as uh, landi mata mata mat landi mata mat so this and this place will be regarded as a holy field so as long as you are there on this earth as long as you live on this earth every day you should feed this neem leaf space to jagannath and even after you leave your body every day this preparation will be offered to jagannath in your memory so hearing these words uh, landi mata she was very pleased and uh, she quickly fatafat uh, she made uh, the paste and very lovingly she offered that paste to lord jagannath so this is the secret and since that day after offering chappan bhoga 55 bhoga to the lord a very special offering is made and that offering is called teet bhog what is it called teet bhog teet bhog means bitter offering uh, in remembrance of nandi mata and lord jagannath still accepts this bitter offering so this is how lord jagannath he always always reciprocates with his dear devotees bolo jagannath bolo jagannath bhagwan ki jai jai jagannath 
I hope you all like this story. Yes or no? So we'll do some quiz. We don't like the story. Sham is saying yes. Mokshid is saying yes. And um, so what we'll do is we'll do us we'll do uh, some quiz. Let me see how much you all have remembered these stories. Okay. Achinta, you want to ask anything? You have raised your hand. You want to ask anything? You want to say anything? I'll unmute you. Tell me, Achintya. Nothing? Should I ask you the question? Should, should we start with the quiz? So, let's see what is the first question. Okay. Now tell me, what is Prasad? Prasad means what? In the chat box. Okay, Dulari wants to ask. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you a chance after we finish this quiz, all right? So you tell me uh, in the chat box. Everybody will put their answers in the chat box, all right? Second, Prasad means mercy. Sham is saying mercy. Karthik is saying mercy, right? Prasad is mercy. All right. Anyone else? Arav is saying mercy. Correct. So, Prasad means mercy. Perfect. So, next question. How should one offer Prasad? How should one offer Prasad? Love, are we saying with love? Come on, come on, answer, answer fast. Without onion, garlic, with faith, correct, with faith, without onion and garlic. What else? There are so many kids. I want everybody to participate. Nateshwari, Karthik, Chanda, then Chetna, Park, everyone. Everyone should participate in the quiz. Sham is saying with devotion. What about others? With love, Dular is saying with love, happiness. All your answers are correct. So we should offer Prasad with joy, with lot of love and devotion. All right. So we move on to the next question. So next question is, where does Lord go? Where he wants to eat? Part is saying by loving God and offering bhoga with respect. Perfect. Yes, you are right. So the next question is, where does Lord go when he wants to eat? Where does he go? Jagannath Puri. Karthik is saying Jagannath Puri. Sham is saying Jagannath Puri. Par, Kar, Kamal. I want you to participate. What about others? So the answer is Jagannath Puri. So when the Lord wants to eat, he goes to Jagannath Puri. When, when he wants to sleep, he goes to he becomes Ranganath and goes to Sri Rangam. All right. So we will go to the next question. How many bhogas are, are offered to Lord Jagannath? How many bhogas are offered to Lord Jagannath? Parth is saying 56. Very good. Shan is saying 56. Karthik is saying 56. Arav is saying 56. Sanjeev is saying 56. Are you sure 56 Hoga? Sure. Pakka. Egram Pakka. All right. So answer is 56. Everybody is right. So the Lord is offered 56 Hoga. That is Chappan Bhoga. All right. So now the next question. How many meals would Mother Yashoda feed Krishna? How many meals a day would Mother Yashoda feed Krishna? Karthik is saying eight, Arth is saying eight, Dilari is saying eight, Sham is saying eight, everybody is saying it. Are you seven? Sure, eight. Okay, eight. 
so yeah right mother yashoda she she feed eight meals to krishna fine okay now let's go to the next question uh who gave mahaprasad to narad muni who gave mahaprasad to narad muni lakshmi lord vishnu lord shiva who gave prasad to narad muni lakshmi parvati and lakshmi sanjeev not lord shiva sanjeev not lord shiva Even Lord Vishnu did not give. Who gave Mahaprasad to Lord uh, to Narad Muni? Lakshmi. Yes, Arav is saying Lakshmi. Bulari is saying Lakshmi. So the correct answer is Lakshmi because he went not to Vaikuntha and he uh, he offered service to Mother Lakshmi and Mother Lakshmi was very happy with him and she asked to ask. Uh, uh, she told him to ask for some boon and what boon he asked? I want Mahaprasad of Lord Vishnu. so and mother lakshmi we know how she like when the lord was not looking at her she quickly removed the mahaprasad ka plate and she gave all the mahaprasad to narad muni so that is how narad muni got mahaprasad all right so next question which dance did lord shiva perform after eating mahaprasad which dance did he perform after eating the mahaprasad Tandav, Sattvik is saying Tandav, Shant is saying Tandav. Correct. Anybody else would like to attend? Dulari is saying Tandav. Parth is also saying Tandav. Very good, Parth. Aro, wow, superb. Everybody knows this answer, Tandav. So he performed the Tandav dance. And what is Tandav dance? When when is it performed? When is the Tandav dance performed? During the time of annihilation. All right. So next question. In Jagannath Puri, uh, who is the first one to receive the prasad of Lord Jagannath? Anybody knows? Who is the first one to receive the prasad of Lord Jagannath? Vimla Devi. Vimla Devi. Parshu is also saying Vimla Devi. Anyone else? Sure, Vimla Devi. Lord Shiva is offered, no? Sure, Vimla Devi. Not Lord Shiva. Okay. So Vimla Devi is offered prasad first, and then that prasad becomes Mahaprasad, and then it is distributed to everyone. All right. So next question: Who treated Lord Jagannath as her son? Who treated Lord Jagannath as her son? Incarnation of Parvati. Sar. Oh, Par. Yes. Everybody should uh, answer this question. Gandhi Mata. Okay. Gandhi Mata. San Sanjeev is saying Gandhi Mata. Kartik is saying Gandhi Mata. And who is? Landi Mata. Okay, so answer is Landi Mata. Everybody is right. Landi Mata treated Lord Jagannath as her son, and she used to take that kadwa bitter neem neem leaf paste for him every day because she thought that Jagannath must be not feeling well after eating so many so many varieties of food. Chappan bhoga. So that is why for his good digestion and for his good health, Landi Mata she used to take this bitter neem leaf paste every day. So. Now the next question. What would Landi Mata feed Lord Jagannath? What would she feed Lord Jagannath? Neem paste. Neem paste. Chetna, Aro, Par, Sham, bitter neem paste. Anyone else? Anybody has a different answer? digestion right correct so lord jagannath landi mata would feed lord jagannath neem leaf paste now i am going to ask you all the last question for the day 
and i want each and every one to answer this question what is the name of the bhoga offered to lord jagannath in the memory of landi mata what is the name of the bhoga offered to lord jagannath it is still date it is offered to lord jagannath in the memory of landi mata anyone sham come on fast fast not chappan bhoga the name of that bhoga the you know all bhogas have different different names tithi bhoga teeth bhoga chetan is saying chetan is saying tithi bhoga it is you are some boy very close it is called teeth bhoga anybody else okay so it is called teeth bhoga teeth bhoga okay so the uh, bhoga which is offered to lord jagannath the bitter bhoga it is known as the bitter offering to the lord so uh, so that is known as uh, teeth bhoga okay thank you all very much for your kind attention and for your participation so 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 happy to be with you all so i hope you all like the session and i think dulari wanted to ask something so dulari what would you like to ask yes dulari you can unmute mati ji uh, the uh, the gods were letting landi mata to enter the temple every day but why did they stop her on that main day that day only the stop because all these days no they were like everybody was going to the temple but and that day you know what the king was going to come so they were like making special preparations for the arrival of the king so that is why they were like very much uh, like uh, uh, they were scrutinizingly sending everybody into the temple because they were waiting for the king to come now you know when the prime minister comes what happens all the roads and everything is clear right so in the same way because the king was going to come so that particular day landi mata was stopped from entering the temple all right theek hai okay okay ma'am thank you thank you want to you want to ask something yes achintya you can unmute yourself Achintya, I am asking you to unmute. You are not unmuting. You can put it in the chat box if you want. Okay, fine. So thank you all for being such a great audience. See you all on Monday. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.